We are now in Serbia at the Faculty of Science and Mathematics, University of Niš, that is the coordinator of NETCAM project. The NETCAM project deals with curriculum development in Western Balkan region, actually in Serbia and Albania. With this project, we have supported modernization and internationalization of Serbian and Albanian universities and contributed to the cooperation between European Union and Western Balkan. We actually improved the quality of higher education and its relevance toward the labor, labor market and society in general, and also increased the level of competencies and skills in universities by developing these new and innovative education programs. So we modernized curriculums in the field of environmental and food safety control at six Western Balkan universities. The core goal of this project was the creation of the NETCAM educational platform. NETCAM platform provides three main services. The first one is Network for Remote Instrumental Analytical Laboratories. The second one is the Open Education Resources. And the third one is Database for Collection of Environmental Data. We have started with this project in 2016 and finalized it in April of this year. So we had three and a half years to, first of all, develop the courses, educational material and uh, NETCAM platform itself, and then also to deliver those courses to students, professionals, researchers, and finally, to get feedback that help us to evaluate the strength of our results, but also to see where are the opportunities and challenges to increase the quality level of those results. At the beginning of the project, in order to choose the most appropriate equipment and software that will correspond really to the lack uh, in technical capacities and skills of each in, uh, institution separately, we have organized a survey and collected answers from more than 430 teachers, students, researchers, professionals in the industries and the instrument suppliers also. This feedback showed us in which direction to go. So what IT and laboratory equipment actually to buy. And thanks to European Union, it was a very huge <laughs> impact on Western Balkan technical resources because more than two, uh, 257,000 of euros were implemented for IT and laboratory equipment in six established NETCAM IT classrooms in Novi Sad, Belgrade, Kragujevac, Niš and Tirana. At the University of Tirana, the implementation of NETCAM project has established an IT room with all needed IT equipment for providing remote access to staff, students and researchers for instrumental methods of analysis. At Faculty of Sciences in Novi Sad, NETCAM platform for the first time provided possibility for our students to learn in virtual environments. We organized a remote uh, control of analytical instruments in our own labs and in the labs of colleagues from United Kingdom and Czech Republic. And the uh, experience was amazing. Students uh, learned better and they developed their self-confidence in working with instruments. This was not possible before uh, in crowded laboratories without possibility for individual work. During lifetime of project, we have modernized 56 uh, courses in basic master and PhD level. We created 60 e-learning modules, more than 30 tutorials, more than 100 educational videos, created a platform for remote access toward 32 analytical instruments and also created a database for environmental data that is completely freely available, not only to consortium, but to the general public. In those two academic years, from October 2018 till now, more than 1,300 students and professionals were enrolled to courses. All universities had a really strong, very positive impact on their students and teachers. The University of Belgrade is very satisfied with the results of the project. 
actually we benefit from our uh, university faculty in chemistry. Firstly, we uh, modernized uh, our education system at PhD and Master Science levels in the field of environmental chemistry. Second, uh, uh, we organized CPT courses uh, in the field of environmental chemistry and general environment for our colleagues in municipality institutions and in uh, government uh, laboratories. Uh, third, uh, we provided so important computer tools for the realization of this project and, and not only for this project. At the Faculty of Sciences at the University of Novi Sad, NetHim project enables us to exchange uh, teaching experiences between the partners in the region and uh, European countries. Huge amount of teaching material was open to use and uh, shared. We at the faculty had great experience in using Moodle platform, but this was an opportunity to exchange our knowledge with uh, all the partners involved in the project. Uh, this environmental, uh, this uh, virtual environment enables us also to invite uh, guest lecturers from other countries. We did modernized courses at the University of Belgrade, at Faculty of Chemistry. Students have the uh, chance to easily access to instruments uh, at our institution, but also to other instruments uh, that are available within NetScan platform and also uh, have opportunity to more easily learn how to use it. During COVID restrictions in social contacts, some of laboratory experiments were performed with remote access, so students were actually able to use and control instruments from their own homes. The NetCam project didn't only bring significant benefits to the higher education institutions in Serbia and Albania, but also all EU partners benefited significantly by engaging in the development of the VARIAL, which stands for the Web Access Remote Instrumental Analysis Laboratory. Although the initial motivation for VARIAL was the opportunity to teach modern analytical techniques to students at the higher education institutions which do not necessarily have access to the state-of-the-art instrumentation in current climate with coronavirus impacting the educational provision across the globe, VARIAL became tool of choice for teaching at the University of Greenwich. The University of Greenwich is building on success and experience of the NetCAM project and continues to develop blended learning using VARIAL as a tool to substitute in-class teaching, which uh, proves to be the vital to maintain the learning process where the access to the laboratories is limited. In my opinion, the VARIAL will be one of the greatest legacies of the NetCAM project. The project was not oriented only to students, but also to researchers and scientists. In this regard, we organized an international meeting in a niche at the Faculty of Science and Mathematics, where researchers presented and discussed about their latest achievements in the field of environmental protection. Even 22 lectures and six virtual laboratory sessions were performed for 80 participants from Western Balkan and European Union. So participants that were physically present in a niche actually were able to work on remote instruments that were located in Greenwich, Brno and Novi Sad. 16 CPD courses were developed and delivered to more than 300 participants. In this regard, we have established the Center for Professional Development at Faculty of Science and Mathematics in Niche for performance of lifelong learning education, which was actually some kind of positive spin-off effect created beyond the specific objectives of the project. At the Faculty of Science in Kragovitz, three courses of professional development were organized with equipment supplied by NatCan project. The courses were taught by six lecturers through team viewer. Three of them were from abroad. We are proud to point out that three, these three courses were attended by over 50 professionals from industry and over 200 students. Social cohesion, especially, was very important in the project. 
in order to intensify the cooperation between Serbian and Albanian universities and enterprises, we had a lot of mobilities of Serbian teachers uh, to Albania and Albanian teachers coming to Serbia. So 24 mobilities were realized through the project with 460 people involved in it. We have organized cultural activities uh, in historic and touristic venues for all participants. These visits gave to all of us the opportunity to get familiar with the culture, traditions and the history of different regions in Serbia and Albania. I believe that we have established a friendship and the strength of the capacities for collaboration that will continue in the future. Looking in total, the project involved a huge number of staff persons. More than 140 people were actually involved in a realization of the project. Really great help of our European partners and transfer of their knowledge, skills and experience was highly effective. The University of Greenwich, as a member of the NETCAM team, was involved in the knowledge transfer that included not only the pedagogical and scientific expertise shift from the EU to Balkan countries, namely Serbia and Albania, but also two-way collaboration on the development of successful project outcomes, which one of them is the Vario. When we talk about success, I must quote Oscar Wilde, who said, Success is science. If you have conditions, you get the results. And in my view, the NETCAM project is an example of such success and how proper project aims, carefully selected project partners, recognized and supported by the EU funding, led to development of a valuable project outcomes. The guarantee of sustainability of the project is provided by signed agreement on educational, scientific and technical cooperation between all consortium institutions. But beside the significance of this very document, the real guarantee for sustainability is actually usefulness and quality of achieved outcomes, because this uh, actually gives the real motivation for future collaborations and exploitation of the project after its competition. And we believe that we succeeded in that. And at the end, I would like just to mention the whole NETCAM team. University of Niche, Sorbonne University, SEA Paris, NGO Aqualive Paris, Brno University of Technology, University of Greenwich, University of Novi Sad, University of Belgrade, University of Kragujevac, University of Tirana and Agricultural University of Tirana, and finally Zlatiborac Company, Enological Station Vršac and Analysis Company in Belgrade.